Johnny Somali is the worst streamer on the planet. He's a goofy little guy who just goes around causing absolute terror in countries where he isn't from. And then he'll play victim as soon as he starts getting into actual trouble. And he's just hideous. He's just a disgusting person. Anyway, recently he was streaming in South Korea, getting up to his usual antics, causing absolute mayhem and destruction as always. And he's ended up getting himself in quite a lot of trouble after he was caught possessing illegal drugs, which can get him up to 10 years in jail and also getting charges of assault, which can get him an extra two years. And if you thought these were bad, he probably committed one of the most heinous moral acts you can commit. What's for the Korean and the Chinese people? Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> They're gonna clip that. <laughs> oh my god. Now for those of you that are a little bit confused as to what he's just done there, he's just kissed the Statue of Peace. Now Statue of Peace is also referred to as the Comfort Woman Statue and as a symbol of victims of sexual slavery. Wow. What an insult. Like, that is actually some next level degenerate shit that he's just pulled off there. The fact that he's kissed a statue which resembles the freedom of sexual slavery wow my mind is absolutely blown anyway obviously he got absolutely slaughtered by all the koreans for this he was getting actively beaten up and shit like that it was quite beautiful to see i have already made a video on that but he's just responded to everything and his response isn't terrible but it's just lies like he's just been turned into wood developed a weird connection with an old guy and now he's calling himself pinocchio because his nose genuinely couldn't be pointing out any further throughout these entire interactions okay i'll say right now i want to apologize to the korean people uh, I was not aware of the significance of the statue. I was trying to get, you know what I mean? It was just entertainment for my audience. We're from America. We really don't know about much about the comfort woman or much about the statue where we're from. In fairness to Johnny Somali here, he is probably being quite honest. He probably had no clue what that statue actually was and just thought, oh yeah, there's a woman here sat down on a seat. Let me sit down next to her and give her a little kiss. Yeah, this will be so funny because all of the content that he makes is always funny, obviously. You know, if you don't find Johnny Somali funny, you're brain roid. You're an idiot. You know, clearly this guy's the funniest guy on planet Earth. It's not like he goes into restaurants booming his speak or a text to speech. No. He's funny. Come on, guys. He's a comedian. But yeah, in all seriousness, I genuinely think this is coming from his heart right here. So I somewhat respect this. My intention in coming to Korea was not to cause this kind of shitstorm. My intention was to come here, do my live streams, make content, and be funny. It wasn't really... I didn't want to cause pain or get anybody in trouble. I might actually be the biggest lie ever told in history. I mean, Johnny Somali's really coming out here with a Trojan horse right now, acting like a great guy, you know, really coming to Korea for a great thing. He's gonna make some amazing content, really show what Korea is actually like. He's not gonna go there and cause drama and mayhem and just disrupt people and assault people. I don't even know what you're talking about. Those clips, no, they're fake, AI generated. You've got to be a fucking idiot to think that this guy came here with good intentions. It's a hurtful thing it's something that hurts the korean pride and the korean culture in america we have a different kind of um, comedy and we have a different kind of culture in america and korea it's a totally different kind of place where this kind of behavior is not acceptable i'm not from america but all you have to do is take a look at a couple american people to know that the most insane americans wouldn't commit an act like this not even the motherfucker that killed jfk would go as far to kiss the statue of peace in korea or for that matter even try and defend it the fact that johnny somali is coming out with a quite genuine apology but then trying to defend himself by saying oh yeah everyone in america would have done that because they don't know what they're doing you know we, we don't we don't have a culture like that we like to joke about these kind of things no they don't i have no clue what on earth this guy's talking about if there was a statue in the u.s which resembled the freedom of sexual slavery i don't think anyone would go around kissing it i genuinely think this guy's just an imbecile just trying to make himself look better right here when i first came to south korea i'm not gonna lie i have like a lot of my other content before the statue incident has been great all the koreans have treated me great like i've had nights out drinking with koreans partying with koreans and they've showed me the utmost hospitality and respect so honestly that, that i hit a nerve this much i think it's it's good to be a man and apologize all right pinocchio i'm not gonna call you johnny somali anymore i'm gonna call you pinocchio somali you are just outright fucking lying right now you haven't made a single good piece of content in korea all of your clips have just been rage baiting and clip farming and just pissing people off and i do respect the fact that he's come out and he has made a 
somewhat genuine apology at least he's admitting to the fact that he was wrong at least in front of a camera he's doing it but he doesn't need to lie the clips are there it's obvious that he's doing horrible things in korea and yes him kissing the statue of peace was hands down the worst clip of them all but it doesn't justify the fact that he's gone on trains blasting text to speech going through the streets just causing problems he's still done horrible things and he should just be taking accountability for those as well but for some reason he just can't do it anyway he then kind of got up on stage in front of a statue and made a genuine apology this is all coming from the heart he's not reading any sort of script here there's multiple people surrounding him all recording him and this is his sort of message to all of the koreans so yeah let's get into it so to all the people of south korea uh i just want to apologize for what i've done and i really did not mean to hurt your guys's pride this much you guys are a good people you guys are a great people and for the most part other than mr navy seal here i've had a great experience with a lot of the south korean people and it was not my intention to really hurt you guys, and I hope you guys can accept my apology. And I'm a young person. I want to grow as a man. Uh, I made a mistake, and I think um, when you make a mistake in life, you need to um, own up to it. As much as I hate to say it, that apology was actually quite good. He actually showed some sort of compassion. He showed that he was apologetic. He showed that he genuinely didn't mean to respect them. At least that's what he's coming across like. And if someone had done me wrong like this, I would probably accept this apology. Anyway, we're only halfway through it, so let's carry on. I will no longer talk about your statue or touch it ever again. Uh, I hope that I can live in peace here in South Korea and we could uh, get past the situation and use it as a learning situation because a lot of people learned about this statue from this situation, bad or good. Yeah, in fairness to Johnny Somali here, he is actually spitting some sort of facts. I had no clue that this statue even existed. If I was walking through Korea, I probably wouldn't have touched it. I would have maybe taken a picture of it because I would have thought, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I would have sat down next to it. I don't know if that's a bad thing to do or not, but I have actually learned about this statue now. So in fairness, there's been a good outcome to a bad act. And if Johnny Somali is actually able to reevaluate himself now and say, you know what? I don't want to make this kind of content anymore. I want to fix myself. I want to actually make good content now i want to show respect to korea then honestly i respect him there's no guarantee that he's not going to go back into the streets and cause fucking bizarre mayhem acts once again because we know what this guy's like you know he did the exact same in the countries that he traveled to before and it's likely he's going to do it again anyway next up he does a bit of a korean speech or something like that and does a bit of a praise i'm not going to play all of it because i have no clue what it means and i can't really translate it either because there's no cool ai apps which will do that for me for free but so uh, yeah you can see him bow and continue on our Afterwards. Chase, tell me that. The apology mean that shit. No, I mean I'm sin I'm sincere. I mean it. Yeah, man, because, be uh, like I'm saying, as a man, it doesn't take nothing to realize I'm wrong. But for a whole country's pride to be hurt, it's a, it's it's not a big thing for me to say I'm sorry. You know what I mean? But it will mean a lot to hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of Koreans, not just in Korea but around the world. So I made a mistake and. I just want to own up to it. Honestly, fair play, Johnny Somali. Like, genuinely fair play. That is actually a good apology. That was better than Logan Paul's. I'm surprised he didn't pull out a ukulele and come out with some shitty little song. I think him getting consistently beaten up and the charges brought up on him really actually, you know, raised a light in his eyes that he shouldn't be fucking around with people like this. Negative attention is only so good until it reaches a point where it's actually starting to have a true negative impact on everyone's lives. Like with KSI's song, for example, negative impact apart from now he's on like the top 100 billboard. He's actually smashed mashed it with a song and although everyone got pissed off at him for the Dan TDM thing it was just enough negativity to create a positive outlook for him and for Johnny Somali well it's just been negative all around and although I don't support negative actions which result in positive causes it should always be positive resulting in positive the outcome of this actually seems to be fairly positive and I really hope Johnny Somali can fix himself yeah for the time being Johnny Somali is still banned on absolutely every platform and to be honest hopefully it stays that way hopefully this is just a learning curve for him and he just decides to never stream again that'll be pretty good maybe even switches to youtube make some cool youtube videos going around korea showing respect but uh yeah i don't know how long he's gonna be able to keep this act up for maybe he has changed maybe he hasn't it's just a matter of time until we find out but if we're just looking at this apology from a general standpoint he's done a good job and johnny smiley well done mate but uh yeah just want to say a little bit about this because this is quite a good update and that's about it see you